I'll be doing a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to use the Tidio Shopify live chat app. I'll be going everything end to end here so you have a complete understanding of how to use and set up the app. So make sure you stay until the end here. So we're going to start things off from the Shopify app page. And so once you're here, you just want to click install. This is going to begin the installation sequence for this app. And that brings me to the installation page. If you're comfortable with the permissions, just click install. Then from there, I need to go and create an account with my email. So I'm going to enter in my email here. Then I'll enter in a password and agree to the permissions. This is going to load the Shopify integration now. Now I can go through the setup wizard at the beginning. So first, let's enter in my name. In terms of the role, I'll put founder, owner. And for this, I'll just say I want email and live chat. And you can just enter in what you think is relevant for you. So you're going to skip through some of these questions here as they are very dependent on your store. And let's hit start here. Next, we can go through what we want to set up. Now from here, we can do several different options to start up with. I'm going to go to the build a chat bot button as I think that's probably relevant to most people here. And we can go through the remaining settings after. So I'll click build chat bot and then I'll hit let's go. So this brings me to the next getting started screen. And overall, it's going to give us several tasks to do, which help make this process easier. So the first one is that we've installed it. Next, we want to make sure we're showing this to our visitors. So first, let's go enable that. So I'm going to click on go to Shopify theme editor. And this is going to open up the theme editor for my currently installed theme. And it's going to open up the app embed section. And it's going to default check that as enabled. You could also just get here by opening up customize for your Shopify theme heading to app embeds, searching for Tidio on the left here, and then clicking save in the top right. So if I reload this page here, that should be checked off now, although we can just skip to the next section anyways. So we can also test a conversation to see what it's going to look like. So let's go and open up a preview of my store here. And I can see it's now in the bottom right here. Hi there, if you need any assistance, I'm always here. So we can see it is now powered by this product here and it looks to be currently working on my chatbot. So I'm gonna mark this as done here. Next, we wanna go and configure our welcome message. So if we head back to our live version here, I'm gonna exit out of this spin the wheel pop up. You can see, hi there, if you need any assistance, I'm always here. So we can go and customize that now. And if I click test your chatbot, I'm gonna open this up and I can see my chat bots here and I can see the proactive welcome message for first time visitors. And if I click into this, I can see the analytics. I can also click on the three dots here. I'm gonna click on edit and I can see the flow. So on first visit in the site, chat status, if we're online, send a chat message and it's also gonna send it if we're offline. And the current message is hi there. If you need any assistance, I'm always here. I could maybe just add this is a chat bot from my store. You can really customize that to whatever you like. I can hit activate there and that should save my settings. Now to note that was just changed for when we're online. You also have to click into online as well to change that welcome message too. So if we press back a few times, we can get to this welcome screen again. The next step is you can choose to enable their AI. So this is called Lyro and it replies immediately with natural human-like conversations. It can be multilingual and it's powered by various sources, including websites and question and answer assets. I'm gonna leave this as off for now as I'm currently on the free plan and I am on a fully featured trial, but in order to get that, you need the $39 a month plan. So it's up to you if you want to pay for that, enable it there. There's also the mobile app. I'm not going to install that now, but you can install that by scanning this QR code so you can answer live chats from wherever you are if you choose to do so. They also do have a desktop as well for Mac, Windows, and Linux. So you can access your customer service without having to log into a browser. So next, let's head to the dashboard and we'll go through an overview of what you can do with this app and the overall features you can access. So this home icon brings you to the dashboard. We get current insights. You can also see the news feed of what's going on with the product. On the top left, you have your inbox where you can see all your messages from your different connections. You can set up connections with WhatsApp, Instagram, Facebook Messenger, email, and the live chat widget. Now, because we just selected the live chat widget, and the chatbot at the beginning, this was installed already. On the left-hand side, you're gonna get different tabs such as unassigned, open ones, views for different products, order statuses, shipping policies, and so on. On the left-hand side too, we have the AI bot, which you can then enable if you want to do so. Then we also have our other chatbots. So we currently only have one available because we've only activated one and that's our proactive welcome message. Overall, if you're looking to create a chatbot, there are several different ways to do so. You can do it off a template or you can follow pre-existing strategies. So if we take a look at one of the strategies here, it's to increase sales and it helps to automate a buyer journey and sell more. So that consists of three steps, increasing engagement, increasing conversion and preventing cart abandonment. And so if we wanted to use this template here, I can click learn more and I can click use this strategy. 
And it's gonna help set up a lot of these steps for me. I'm customizing the first message. It's gonna have a coupon code that I can add in. If I click next here, I can then see what the cart booster is going to look like. So it's gonna be another discount code. If I want to, I can hit activate here. And that's going to activate this chatbot here for both cart boosters and cart abandonments. And if you wanna explore all these templates, you can head to strategies and then explore all. And there's tons of different pre-built strategies here that are gonna be much faster than you trying to set these up yourself. If you wanna remove one of these chatbots, you can deactivate it here. You can also click the three dots, then click delete. And so I could delete the cart booster as well as the other one I just created there. And so it makes it super easy to edit and customize these different chatbots. We also have email marketing here. So we have different automated flows, campaigns, and we can also see our active campaigns. So campaigns are gonna be more of those one-off ones. So if you wanna send a one-off promotion, can see you have tons of pre-built templates to utilize those emails that you've collected through the chatbot. We can see different Christmas promotions given as an example, Easter, Father's Day, and so on. Automated flows are going to be automatically sent out and they're usually on a delay schedule. So 24 hours after someone added to their cart, you could send them an abandoned cart reminder. And so they have two templates automatically built for you. Welcome new subscribers. The next is an abandoned cart reminder. At the very least, having an abandoned cart reminder, if you don't have one already for your store, is crucial to set up. As most people abandon their carts, but if you can get them to come back, that's going to help increase your sales quite a bit. Lastly, we have customers. So we can see different people who are online. We can see which ones are contacts and subscribers. Now live is probably just me here and it's giving me a random name. You can also choose to send these contacts to Shopify. Lastly, we have our analytics on the left here. So you can see tons of analytics from your conversations, how your operators are performing, how long they've been online, as well as customer intent here. But you need to book a call to get this to be activated. We can also see how many sales were assisted, the AOV orders, and so on. There's also tons of integrations for this app. So we head to the left-hand side under integrations. You can see there are quite a few here. So if you have any of these counts separately, you can link this data together. Lastly, on the left-hand side, you do have our settings. And here we can customize things such as the appearance of our live chat widget. We can change the colors, the logo, or the widget position, the label text. We can also add custom branding on a premium plan. There's more settings with the widget visibility, mobile visibility. So we could say the button size is much smaller on mobile and we could set it to be on the left hand side instead. It's really more personal preference and styling there for these appearance ones though. Without going into every single one of these settings here, some of the main ones are just the chat page. So this is only available on the starter plan, but you can customize the appearance here, similar to the chat widget. And you can also add translations. So it gives you quite a few customizable fields. So you can go through these and translate those if you are looking to do this in a different language. Lastly, there are canned responses. So if you're answering a ton of different queries, you can create these shortcuts to help you respond to customer service questions faster. Such as hashtag hi is going to translate to hello there, what can I help you with? Hashtag bye, you're welcome. Please let me know if there's anything else I can help you with. These are some automatically created ones and you can easily add one by hitting add a new canned response. And if you ever wanna get back to the getting started screen on the bottom left, if you click into that there, it will bring you to this checklist where you can start filling this stuff out to make sure you have what you're looking to set up right away. If you've made any sales on Shopify, you know how hard it is to keep track of how much money you've actually made. You have all your different calculations from your ad spend to your cost of goods sold to your transaction fees to your Shopify app fees and so on. And this can be a lot of work to put into a spreadsheet. That's where our sponsor Profit Calc comes in. It's a one-click profit calculator available for your Shopify store. All you have to do is select the date range you're looking for to see real-time analytics, as well as tons of different metrics and charts so you can make smarter business decisions for your store. It's gonna sync seamlessly with all your ad accounts on Facebook, Google, Snapchat, Bing, Pinterest, and TikTok, as well as many cost of goods sold options. There's a 15 day free trial, so you can check everything out for yourself. And you can find it on the Shopify app store by searching Profit Calc and then looking for this logo in the top left. There's also a link in the description below to access the Shopify app listing directly. So make sure you check that out there. So this is gonna conclude the video on a Tidio tutorial. We went over step-by-step step how to use the app, all the different settings you can access. And so you should have a much better understanding of how to use the app. It's quite powerful and there are a ton of different features in it. So I hope this video helped you understand them. If this video did help at all, I would love it so much if you smash that like and subscribe button below. If you have any questions, leave a comment, but thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.